José Carlos. José Carlos, how are you? Você? César, how are you? Oh, I'm excellent. Yeah, wow. Why are you excellent? It was a good day today. Uh, yeah, uh, I am not uh, so tired, so... <laughs> That's it's a for me. Hey. Uh, for that, only that. Okay, good news. And today, not it's not a difficult day. Uh, could you repeat? I, I can. Today, today was not a difficult day. Um, not really, not really, because I I take a thing a time to rest for rest today yeah okay good i needed that hey. everyone right everyone you need one day only to relax sometimes yes yeah mm -hmm. okay it's necessary yeah 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 it helps it helps a lot to keep you going and give you the energy to continue the next day yeah yeah, yeah. Give us more energy, take a time to rest. And every day take a, a, a time for for ourselves, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. So guys, what about the rest of you? How was your day? Uh, hi, teacher. Good, good, good evening. Good evening. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I have a, a problem with my lesion, lesion in, in la plataforma. Okay. Eh, en la que hicimos el día de ayer, la 5.4. Eh, perdón, se lo voy a decir así en español. Eh, okay. Cuando yo puse la respuesta, no sé, pero me dieron error en todas eh, y yo creo que el error lo tengo en el apóstrofe okay. porque las que no llevan apóstrofe, o sea, las tengo bien, o sea, igual como las vimos en la clase uh -huh. entonces, esa lección prácticamente todas están malas prácticamente, solo una que no lleva apóstrofe, tengo buena, ¿verdad? entonces, okay. no sé cómo hago. porque yo, o sea, yo lo envié nuevamente Cuando cambié y puse los apóstoles, o sea, no me lo agarró. Ok, comparte el o pantalla. Sea, no pude nada. Compartí la pantalla, Mónica. Share the screen. Let's see. Ah, sorry. Es que estoy del teléfono. Eh, no. Estoy, estoy del teléfono en Zoom, no estoy en la, en la computadora. Sí, igual puedes compartir la pantalla. ¿O no hace de esa la cuenta de, de parte en el celular? No. 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 Ok. Mm. Sí, sería difícil ver cuál es el problema si no puedo ver qué es lo que escribiste. Oh, no sé si al final podríamos ver. Ya, ya, ya. Al final o, o cuando tenga un momento vemos cómo hacemos, Mónica. Pero sí, okay. yo puedo compartir lo de ayer, pero si copiaste lo mismo 
y te salió mal, Ajá. es necesario ver lo que tú escribiste para ver dónde te equivocaste. Perfecto. Oh. Ok. All right. Anybody else? Any other questions or problems with the platform or exercises? No. Um. Okay. I'm going to challenge only to make sure. Monica, what is the exercise? Maybe we can see just in case. What, what is the exercise that you have problems with? Cinco punto cuatro, perdón. Okay. All right, Monica. Here's what we had yesterday. It, um, let's see. Okay, so you should have correct number, number four, because number four, no apostrophe, and yes. number eight. Do you have correct number four and number eight? Yes. 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 And the other is not correct. Correct. Okay. So then, yes, it's probably here. The apostrophe. The, the way to solve it, Monica, one solution is copy from here. Copy. Right. And then put the answer here. Oh. And that way you have the correct apostrophe and, okay. and no tilde or a different uh, uh, or a different symbol. Solo que, perdón, me quedó la duda porque como que ya no pude enviar la clase. O sea, no sé si es limitado mandarlo porque yo hice correcciones y ya no lo mandaba. Yeah, Mónica, es eh, eh, eh que es bien difícil ayudarte, apoyarte. Más que eso, si no puedes compartir tu pantalla para ver qué has hecho. Bueno, voy a luego. Ok. Ahí cuando tengas un, una oportunidad, no, no compartí y vemos si alguien puede ver la, el, donde te equivocaste. All right, Mónica. Perfecto. Gracias. You're welcome. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and continue today. Uh, we continue on with our topics. Yesterday we were looking at the last is describing personalities, looking at adjectives. Today, this is the objective to to finish unit five so that tomorrow we can do the test and then Thursday is the last day. Here we're gonna learn some vocabulary for personality traits. So listen and take notes of the vocabulary. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Creative. Critical disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Forget Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that the vocabulary is okay. Take a look, okay? Do you understand those words? Any questions with any of those words? Level-headed. Level-headed is the person that doesn't have stress, doesn't, is, not, is not emotional. They are calm. Relax. They are. They think. They think clearly. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And moody. Moody is the opposite. The person that is one moment happy, one moment angry, one moment screaming. This is moody. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And reliable. Reliable, like a Toyota. A Toyota is a reliable car. You can depend on the car. 
is this is reliable. Okay. What else? Forgetful. Forgetful. Ah, forgetful is you don't remember. Is forgetful? I don't remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Okay, good. Now let's listen to the conversations and see if we can identify what personality they are. Mm -hmm. Getful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, are we ready? We got all of them? Yes, it's okay. One more time or it's okay? One time. One more time. One more time. All right, let's try it one more time. Adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a team. Okay. So what is number one? Serious. Serious. Okay. What about number two? Generous. 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 Okay. Here's number three. Teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay, what was number three? 
What's wrong? I'm fed up with my Modi. brother. Number three was? Modi. Modi. Okay, good. And the brother? Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Okay. Very good. So we can see we have a lot of words to describe people, right? Here are some of the words that we use to describe your boss, your coworker, other people. In this moment, I'd like you to take and use some of these vocabularies. Explain a person and tell why. For example, my boss is bad tempered because when she has problems with her husband I, in the office, she is very angry with, the, with all the coworkers. But when her husband sends her flowers and she is happy, then she changes her mood. So for me, she is bad tempered and moody. Very, very angry sometimes and very happy others. That's it. You're going to use the vocabulary and explain why. It's okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So remember, you can describe different people, uh, co-workers, like classmates, uh, partners, students, others. But, okay, remember, use the vocabulary and explain why. All right, Ronnie, I put you into the group to describe people.
Okay. Any questions with the vocabulary? No question. Okay, good. Now we're going to go on to the next topic, which is 5.11. Today in 5.11, we're going to be learning a little bit about because. Okay. Jose Isaias, can you read the objective? Okay, teacher. Uh, by the end of this session, you will learn and understand clauses with because. Okay. I think this is easy because we use because normally. It's not, a, it's not a special word. It's a word that we use in normal conversation. We're going to learn how to use it better, okay? Hi, are you ready to introduce a positive awesome. reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. Okay, that's important. That gives you like the an answers the question why. When you use because, you are answering the question why for something. Okay. This is the cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Okay, it's okay, the idea for because? Mm, I think, yeah. Yes, so for example, I make a good journalist, why? Because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher, why? Because I'm very creative, that is the idea. Because is to give the explanation of why. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president an actor or an actress? Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay. First, it's okay how to use why? Sorry, how to use because? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy, right? All it is. I is... have a question. Yes. What's the meaning of the stockbroker? The person that works in Wall Street is the stockbroker. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay, all right, good. So now we're going to ask and answer our partners different questions, okay? What are we gonna make those different questions? From here, from the platform. On the platform, we have the 5.13 and we're going to complete with our own information. I wouldn't want to be a nurse. Why? Uh, because in is your answer. First, with your partners, and then you select the, the answer that is best to complete the sentence. But also you want to give your own opinion for those situations. It's okay? Okay. 
All right, let's do it. Analiza, César, ¿yo qué? Dice, a mí se me salió lo del internet y tuvo que volver a ingresar y ahorita no sé. No me... Yeah, I, I have problem too with my internet because okay, it's raining no, here. No problem, no problem. Let me try. There.
Okay, let's try together. What would be number one? Because I don't like hospital. Okay, pretty good. What about number two? Because I love creative writing. Okay, good, creative writing. Number three? Because I'm terrible with numbers. Number four? Because I have a terrible memory. Okay, and number five? Because, because I really enjoy traveling. Okay. Super easy. There we go. Oh, excellent. All are correct. Okay. Any questions? No question. No, it's clear how to use because, right? Yes. yes. All right. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. So guys, I want you to think about it. At night, when you go to bed, do you have dreams? Do you have situations where you say, ah, it's like a deja vu or things that you, uh, you dream one, two, three times? Mm. Yeah, go ahead, Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos. Hello, you can hear me? Yes. Good teacher. The night, uh, uh, sometime I, in my dreams, uh, I can see a place or people or moment next or other days. Uh, this moment is really <laughs> okay and you repeat the same dream the dream is repetitive excuse me this dream when you have the dream do you have the dream uh two three four five times or only one time only one time okay okay so never have the dream repeat no no. One time. Only one time. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, today we're going to be looking at the ideas for different dreams and describing them to our partners. Our partners are going to ask us extra information. Some of the words that maybe we need to know are, for example, nightmares. Have you heard this word before? Nightmares is like a very bad dream. It's okay, the word nightmare? Yes. Yes. Yes? Okay. Then we have... Yeah, for me, I, I nightmares uh, was... Uh, I, 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 have, I had yesterday because I, I am so tired. And when I go to the bed, I, I was dreaming with that I was studying. So for me, it was like nightmares. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then we have many different questions. Sometimes the people repeat the same dream. Sometimes they have paralysis in the dream and they can't move, different situations. But in this moment, we use the links and we talk to our partners about our dreams and our life and what we imagine. It's okay? Okay. All right. 